Hello and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. You join me on another Tabletop Tuesday where tonight we are going to be playing the game Cassiopeia from Hobby World International. Cassiopeia is a game all about terraforming planets, gathering resources and using a limited number of specialists in order to achieve our goals. At the end of the game, once somebody has terraforming all seven planets, they are going to be declared the winner. So tonight I am joined by a special guest. Uh, we have Ian from Instar Paint who will be playing against me. So without further ado, let us get started. Ian, are you all ready? Hello, Ian. Hello. All right, so let me go and give a brief overview of the rules. So we have the game set out in front of us. These will be my planets to terraform, so the top row. And Ian, you will be terraforming the bottom row of planets. Everything has been laid out randomly. The turn phase is quite simple. Uh, phase one, take all coins from the chosen specialist. And I'll explain that in greater detail in a moment. Phase two, you can either purchase a resource, two coins for a bot, three coins for a lens, four coins for a cell, or you can resolve the specialist's effect. So you do not necessarily need to use the effect of the specialist that you have gone on. Phase three, terraform one planet after paying its costs. And then phase four, Take your meeple from the specialist card and place it on the table beside that card. Once we have done all of our turn phases, we then remove our meeples. We place one coin on each card that was not used in that round. And we turn the cards that we used over and then we start a new round initiative now it goes in the order of the player who was higher up towards the left of the row in this case it would be the red player so having your meeple closest to the left specialist will always allow you to go first when we activate our specialist we do what is the first part of their action and then we must check to see if we are in alignment for our logistics and what this means is if the total number of our planets link to the logistics planet earth in this case then we are able to take advantage of the bonus action on the specialist each card has an alignment symbol to it these initial four are aligned to Earth, whereas these three are aligned to Mars. The logistics can swap during the course of the game. So we've got to pay attention to that to see, are we able to take advantage of the additional resources that we can get so long as we are aligned to the proper logistics center. The planets themselves, in order to terraform them, you must collect a number of resources together. And the resources in the game are as follows. We have coins, bots, lenses, cells, and then the alien capsules, which are a wild card. They can act as any type of resource. In order to terraform your planet, say planet number three for example you look at the costs on the previous planet so this planet requires a lens a cell and a coin for this one to be terraformed once those costs are paid we flip the planet this now makes a number of special abilities available to us but this does now mean that this planet as an increased cost. And this is a knock-on effect as we work our way down the planet. You can terraforming them in any order, just being aware that they will, of course, increase the costs on subsequent planets. Planet seven wraps around and those costs 
occur to Planet One. Once all seven planets have been terraformed, then that player is declared the winner. Okay, so let me go through the specialists that we have laid out here. We have the Martian. When you activate the Martian, it will mean that you can flip the logistics card. Each opponent with more than three unprotected resources, not counting crystals, in total discards them down to three. The cyberneticist, each player gains a bot. The geneticist, gain a cell. The smuggler, gain a coin for each opponent whose funds are less than or equal to yours. Explaining what funds are. Each planet, when it's unterraformed, has a fund symbol. Once the planet gets terraformed, you lose one of those fund symbols. So for each opponent whose funds is less than or equal to yours, the smuggler would be able to gain one coin. So there is a little bit of a take that action uh, between players. The engineer, each player gains a lens. And the tax officer, each opponent whose fund is less than or equal to yours, loses coin and run one resource of their choice. Initiative roll first. Red is me, black is Ian. <laughs> so Ian goes first. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, okay. I'll take the Earthman, please. Take the engineer. Okay. What does the Earthman want to do? Flip the card over for a start. <laughs> All right, that's your go. On mine, each player gains. I've done it again. Each player gains a lens. <laughs> Just keep Yay! giving you stuff. Uh, <laughs> and because I no longer have logistics, I don't get the extra lens that I wanted. We then put out coins. We flip these cards. And you choose where we'd like to go next. You're not going to like me for this one. I'm going to take the pirate, please. Okay. Take the captain. You automatically take your coin. And do you want to use the pirate's ability? Uh, yes, please. Okay. You get to take that. Uh, I have no other resources, so there's not much more you can do on it. And can I then terraform my trade complex, please? Okay. Trade complex terraformed. My turn. I take the coin. I also now take the transport. So I have the transport at the top here. You may take one resource from an opponent whose fund is less than or equal to yours and then flip the cruiser over afterwards. So you can use that at any time? Uh, when it's my turn, yes. It's your initiative, where you want to go. I'll take the geneticist, please. Okay. I shall take the Martian. So I'm going to take the coin. I'm going to flip over to Earth, to which then I am in logistics, so I gain an additional coin. Uh, that is my turn. You get to have two coins. Do you want to use the ability of the geneticist? Uh, yes, please. You gain sell. Uh, you are no longer in logistics. No, and I will tariff my engineering. Please. Okay, two coins and a cell. Terraforms your 
engineering complex. So I'm going to go with the installer. Oh, there's problems when you get ahead of it, because... <laughs> Uh, hmm. I will take the programmer, please. Okay, there we go. I'll take these two coins. I gain a lens, and I gain another one. Being in logistics, and that being the case, I shall spend the two lenses and a coin to terraform a factory complex. Alright, you get to have three coins. Do you want to use the programmer's ability? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you get a bot. You are in logistics, so you gain another bot. Yeah, I'm going to take a smuggler. I'm going to relieve you of some of your coinage. <laughs> well, I'll make, it, I'll make a change after the last game. <laughs> <laughs> the smuggler works for multiple players, whereas the pirate works against an individual. Okay, I will take the engineer, please. <laughs> okay, so I'm a smuggler. I'm going to take my coins. I... I will gain a coin for each opponent whose funds is less than or equal to. Um, okay. And I may take one resource, because of my transport cruiser, from the opponent whose funds is less than or equal to yours. I'm going to take mm -hmm. one of your bots. And I oh, flip, no. <laughs> flip my transport over to the barge. All right. That's my turn. You are the engineer. Each player gains a lens. There's a lens for you, a lens for me. And if we are in logistics, which you are, then you gain an additional lens. And because I've got the engineering complex, I get another one as well. Gosh, you are well into your lenses, aren't you? I will terraform my scientific complex, please. So that's a bot. Lens and a coin to terraform the scientific complex. I am going to go to the tax officer. And I will take the Earthman, please. All right. So you get your two coins. So that turns to Mars. Uh, each opponent with more than three unprotected resources in total discards them down to three. Well, my resources, because it is resource, not coins. Yeah. Uh, I've got two, so I'm okay. Mm -hmm. uh, are you in logistics? No, you're not. You're not, so you don't gain the additional coin. But I do get an extra one because of the trade complex. Yeah, so there we go. Additional coin. I shall take all of this coinage. So I really do just have all the coins. <laughs> and nothing to spend on. Exactly, yeah. Each opponent whose fund is less than or equal to yours loses a coin and one resource of their choice. You essentially, well, it's a coin and a lens, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And... Oh. I am not in logistics anymore. Dread. No, I thought I had on that one. <laughs> so it goes into the kitty. That's no fun. <laughs> uh, what can I do with a bot and a lens? And as much money as I like. But here we go. I've got the transport barge. You may make a purchase in addition to your action. I am going to purchase a... Spend four of these. One, two, three, four. Get myself a cell. And so spending a lens, a cell, and a coin will let me terraform my trade complex. And then this flips over back to the cruiser. 
Uh, I'll take the cyberneticist, please. Take the cyberneticist? Yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> and I shall take... I'll take the biologist. <laughs> cyberneticist, you get your two coins. Do you want to use the ability? Uh, yes, I do. Please. Okay, so <clears throat> e each player gains a bot. And then if we're in logistics, oh, we're not. So that's it. Nope. So you have but a bot. I do gain. Do I gain? Oh, no, no I haven't got the factory complex. Nope. Ah, nope. I thought I did have that one. Oops. Oh, I made a bit of a boo boo there. <laughs> um. Okay, I will take my three coins. Uh, each player gains a cell. I get an extra coin from the trade complex. Okay, so my transport cruiser, you may take one resource from the opponent whose funds is less than or equal to yours. You're not having anything. I, I, I am, I am. <laughs> um, Stand in front of it. I am going to take... I'm going to take your lens. Oh. And so that gets flipped over. And now I can spend two bots, a lens, and two coins. And terraform that world. Where would you like to go? I will take the intendant, please. I am going to take the archaeologist. So, I gain a coin and because of my trade complex I gain an additional coin each player may purchase a crystal for a coin so I will take a crystal give yeah, a coin I'll back. Have one as well please you want to do the same yeah am I in logistics I am which means gain a oh, crystal you are as well. gain a crystal and I may purchase an additional crystal you just want all the crystals. I want all the crystals. You're going all new world on us. Okay. And then the transport barge, you may make a purchase. I'm really starting to dislike that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Um, so I will purchase... Well, I'll spend four and get myself a cell. And now what I want to do, I shall spend two cells and a coin to terraform Astur, which is the engineering complex. Over to you. You're the intendant. You get your four coins. And a whole extra one. Uh, and you get one. Your trade complex. Uh, do you want to take the lunar base? Or do you want to purchase? No, I will take the base, please. Okay. I'm just going to see. So remove these over. And you have the lunar base. So you now have an additional Earth planet. But of course, mm -hmm. at any moment of your turn, you can flip this card over. I will terraform my storage complex, please. And use the crystal as the lens. Uh, yes, we'll do that then. A bot to... to... Uh, cells and two coins, yeah? Yeah, we'll do that then. Alright. And then, funnily enough, I'll store three coins. Yes. Okay, those are stored. Okay, where do I want to go? I shall go to the... programmer. I should have flipped the barge over, shouldn't I? Because I did that in the last turn. I will take the tax officer, please. Okay. Right. Uh, so it is your go. So each opponent whose fund is less than or equal. Your funds at the moment are one, two, three. Mine is one, two, three. Oh, it's equal. Okay. Uh, 
loses one coin and one resource of their choice. Uh, are we on logistics? No, unfortunately. You got the you got the lunar base. Remember, at any time you can turn that over. Right, if you have equal numbers of both Earth and Mars, you are in logistics. Oh, well, so if I turn that over, does that cost a move or anything? No, nope. it's just you can do it at any time. So now you oh. have equal number of Mars and Earth. Ah, uh, okay. So basically, what it means is each opponent, I would I would lose a coin and a resource. Okay, and now because yeah. you're in logistics, you gain the coin and res and resource. Can I turn for my factory call? Yes, you can. So that's using the two crystals and the. Uh, <coughs> and that's your factory done. And. Yeah, that's you done. <laughs> so I'll take a coin. Uh, I gain a bot. I am not in logistics, so I do not gain another one. I will use. The crystal as a cell with two coins to terraform that world. Okay, and so it is your choice for initiative. Um, I will take the captain, please. Mm. Going to have to use the. <laughs> gonna have to start, I My turn. Just, I've got to be before you, no matter what, haven't I? Uh, Go, gonna go to the geneticist and so I will take my two coins uh, I gain a cell uh, I'm not in logistics so I don't get the coin I can make the purchase on the barge I shall purchase a lens so I'm now going to do my terraforming I hope which is going to be two bots, one of them being a crystal, the cell and two coins terraforms that world, to which then I can put the lens in for storage. Your turn, you get to have a coin and you now get to take the transport uh i'll take it as the barge <laughs> okay moving your coinage over here there it is and yeah i'll also gain uh, another coin as well for the trade complex can i purchase a bot please that's going to cost you two coins and another bot for the factory complex. And another bot for the factory complex. So you desperately need a lens now, don't you? <laughs> it's getting really tight now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. This is, this is interesting. <laughs> no, <isn't>, yeah, <laughs> We're, it's a bit of a crossroad. Oh, goodness. Oh, oof. okay. I'm going to go to the archaeologist. Oh, I see what you've done, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> uh, uh... Are there various expletives that might be appropriate right now? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's clever. That's clever. Because I can see kind of what, yeah, I can see what you're trying to do. Oh, because the problem is if I take the Martian, it's going to go against me. If I take the engineer, it goes against me. If I take anybody, that's what we, that, oh, you, oh, come on, I've got to make a decision somewhere. Um, I think I know I might be going with this one. I'll take the smuggler. You're taking the smuggler? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you gain your coins. Can I purchase a lens, please? A lens is going to cost you three. 
and then I gain an extra one of them as well because of the engineering complex. Quite correct, yeah. And then what I will then do is I will convert my storage complex. So this is going to cost you two bots, a lens, and two coins. Mm -hmm. And that gets your storage complex in the game. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, so, there's no point me doing anything because I know exactly what you're going to do. Coin, I'm going to... So I've gained a coin, which I then get an additional coin once gaining. I'm going to purchase a crystal. Uh, so that's that done. Oh, I forgot you had to purchase that. Uh, you may purchase a crystal if you wish. Oh, yes, I will, actually. Am I in alignment? No, I am not. So that's the end of the go. Over to you. Where do you want to go? I'll take the Martian, please. But I will go to the cybernetist. All right. Your go. You take your money. I'm use the ability. But what I will do is I will purchase a bot. Okay, a bot costs you two. And because I have the factory complex, I get another bot. And then using those two and the two coins and the crystal, I will terraform yeah. the port complex. Yeah, 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 yeah. So close. <laughs> okay. so... At first I thought, I'm going to move the pirate and then pirate and then he's going to go first, he's going to take everything and he's going to win. And it's just like, ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. Oh, that was good though. That was very tense, that one. You can, very you, you can imagine just what it'd be like with an, an extra player in, wouldn't you? You know what I mean? As oh, much yeah, as be... you, you concentrate on one player and there's another player who's ready to sort of stab you in the back, you know. I so there'd be table flipping, there'd be drinks, there'd be, oh, it'd be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so you enjoyed, yes? I did enjoy that. It was very good. I'll be looking forward to playing this. I'm actually pleased that I got to play it. Good, good. Well, thank you so, so much, Ian, for uh, taking part tonight and for playing against me. Very much appreciated. As well, thank you for having me along. It's been good fun. Excellent. Okay, well, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you on another Tabletop Tuesday. But until then... Yes. Bye for now, then. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye, everyone. And there we go, then. So our uh, thanks to Ian for taking part in tonight's game. Hope you all enjoyed it. I thoroughly did, even though I lost twice. <laughs> so that was, of course, Cassiopeia from Hobby World. Uh, we will be doing more games next Tuesday night. So I look forward to you joining me then. But uh, until next Tuesday, bye-bye for now.